the the debtor's prison yes. in a way where yeah. you're like you are obligated to pay this and if you quit this like you don't know if the cage is gonna get a little bit smaller right so all right so we talked about you know the first thing is like hey you know the uh, uh talking to you and, and, and acknowledging it what's the next step so from there it's actually diving in mm -hmm. on the money side and being able to talk about okay where are we right now and the first thing that we do is what do you need as a business owner you know like do you know that number to take care of your family? Yeah, so it's take home. What do you need exactly. take home? Exactly. What do you need take home so that way there's not the struggle? So that way your wife's not saying, why are you doing this? You know, mm -hmm. or why or your husband or whatever, you know, like, why are you doing this? You know, so it's getting that and really knowing what that number is. Because a lot of people don't even start there. They don't, you know, in the business, they've even been doing it for a while because they think, I've got enough. I'm cushioned, you know, and it's like they've never taken the time to sit down and say, what do we really need? Let me involve my significant other or business partner or spouse or whatever in these conversations to say, what do we really need? Then we like to have conversations from there along the same track of what do you want? Mm -hmm. You know, like, okay, $100,000 a month. What does that mean to you? You know, like how much of that do you want to take home? So now if we're building margin in here, what do you really want and yeah. need? You know, so having those conversations and being real with yourself of what do I need? And then what is going to make me super excited? What's going to get my wife out of bed in the morning too, saying, you better go to that real estate investing job so that mm. way you can keep bringing this <laughs> home. You know, like, what are those numbers that get everyone in your family excited? Yeah, I mean, you, you hear people in their, potentially in their worst spot. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really glad that you wrote, wrote this book, Profit First for Real Estate Investor, uh, Investing, right? Yep. Uh, so I read Mike McCallowitz, Profit First, many, many years ago. And yep. man, that was such an eye-opening book. You know, kind of like, there's like three, there's a handful of books, right? There's the Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Yep. Like opens all our eyes on that. Uh, there's the uh, um, Miracle Morning. It's like, oh, yep. right? You can actually wake up early and get more done. Right. Crazy, right? <laughs> and another one is Profit First. Like, wait a minute. I'm allowed to pay myself first? Right. So exactly. let's talk about that, yeah, right? Because you talk about, you know, how much you need to take home. Why is that so important in, in, in line with profiting Profit First? So there's two big parts to Profit First. And it's first that mindset. We love our formulas, right, as mm -hmm. real estate investors. So the formula we're fed, the BS formula that we're fed, is sales minus expenses equals profit, meaning I make a sale, I pay everyone else and their mother, and whatever I have left over is my profit. At the end of the year, most likely, is when we're trying to wait for that payday. Whatever, show, whatever's still in the bank account. Exactly, whatever's still in the bank account. And then that's when your CPA accountant person says, hey, you made 100000 and then you look at the bank account, and there's $10 in there. You're like, where the heck did all that money go? Mm -hmm. So that's where you're always thinking about expenses first. Profit first, the formula flips it on its head to think about the things that we need to think about first. It says sales minus profit equals expenses, meaning I make a sale, I take my profit off the table, I take that profit first, then I have the expenses left over. You know, that's the, the last thing to think about yeah. because we need to make sure we're building an actual business. An actual business is profitable. A for-profit business should be profitable. It should be profitable from the perspective that the business is giving you a return and paying you right. and the business owner because so many people get burned out they get you know stuck in that real estate rat race of living deal to deal living month to month they're making you know the decisions from their fear because they're like I have to have that next deal because I have no margin and I have to go over if even if it's a slim deal they're making all these decisions from you know like the perspective of I'm paying my expenses first and hopefully I'll have something at the end of the day versus we're going to make sure we have our oxygen masks on. We're going to make sure that the business is healthy. We're going to make sure that we're running a true business here that supports why I even started real estate investing before we get into the rat race trap of like, okay, I got to just reinvest every single dollar back in because I am not against reinvesting. Mm -hmm. I am against it, though. If you are struggling, you're on life support, you've got debtors coming after you, you've got your wife or spouse or significant other or business partner coming after you, like, what, when are we going to get paid? You Don't know, forget so, Uncle Sam. Exa yeah, exactly. So anyway, it's just every single person. So it's like anyone that you, is in your life, you know, like making sure that you're taking care of yourself. So that's that first step in profit first is switching that mindset and that focus to building good habits in your business, good financial habits, good profitability habits, making profit a habit in your business. That's the first thing, that first thing to unlock. 